loses and we get a reset or the tournament is over. If Paradox wins, there is another prediction that comes up. So, uh, one second. Prediction one, is for one set They're they almost ready. They're almost ready. Um, but, uh... Yeah, this is uh, Grand Finals. I'm just switching the names. Remind everybody, I'm also doing stream production at the same time here. So uh, bear with special, me. Special shout outs to Ajax for being able to multitask <laughs> all day today. I have for been <laughs> since 10, like uh, 11, 12 I've, in the I, morning. I, I am on three out. hours of sleep, and I have been up since 8. Uh, I was up very late last night putting up VODs that I was late on, doing seating. Shout out to Chavo as well. Make sure you put hearts out for Chavo so we uh, see him out there. All the, uh, all is, the Vortex team Reborn work, so. team, they they put on such an amazing sh amazing show for everybody today with multiverses. And you almost said like a schmazing show. A I was going to let it rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's been we awesome. are schmazing. <laughs> it's, it's been an amazing show. It's been awesome to watch and seeing the passion behind you guys. There's been so much happening, you know, trying to run it in TO before, and help so know, many people. And you guys are being before, able to keep your composure. Before we start, Grants, one more time, i got to say this. I say this every single event on our weekly basis. I gotta tell y'all now. Anybody who tells you who tries to tell you dead game, anybody who tries to tell you that you can't have fun enjoying a game you like, anybody who tries to tell you that you can't have passion for a game you like, ignore them. Ignore because em. we're not going anywhere. We had 50 plus people in this building for a phenomenal event. We're gonna have plenty of more updates. We still got plenty of things to come. We still got a great community. We've had nothing but great vibes. We gave out cards today. We had pizza. Everybody had a lot of fun. This is a missing piece to that, and we are going nowhere. So Absolutely. ignore all that. Ignore the Twitter bots. Don't be a part of it, and just have fun. Just have the positivity. That's th that's so important to be able to keep a, a scene like this alive, where there's so much negativity that attacks it. You just got to keep the positivity, mm -hmm. and you got to spread positivity to other yes. people within the scene. If you are consist consistently negative, your following will be consistently negative. If you are being honest, there's nothing wrong with that. Am I saying there's not flaws? Absolutely not. There's flaws. But there is always going to be improvements, and there is constant listening. But at the end of the day, we love this game. We love the passion in this game. We love the community, and we love the gameplay we get to see, including what we got coming up next right now with Grands. And we were going to put on a good show at that. It's time to have some fun. Let them know they're ready to go. And uh, I'm so excited for this run back. Actually. I'm super excited too. Like we had a precursor before, and the way that paradox is played, I'm looking more intense, uh, anticipated for this one because it is now grand finals we of Paradox yeah, versus Gopo, Armageddon Battle for the Multiverse, number one exile. Number one. I'm so excited to be able to watch this. We have Massachusetts versus New York. New York, correct? Uh, I'm so excited to see this. This is the run back from the winner's final set where Gopo had a dominant 3-0 over Paradox. Uh, kind of, you know, really surprising to see because they go back and forth so much and today it just seems like it's Gopo's favor. The only person to check Paradox, and I gotta make that clear, the only person to check Paradox is Gopo because he's basically built Paradox. These two play all the time. Oh, but this Gopo is such a scary spot, not getting spiked by the gem there. That's actually such an important edge guard for Gopo and he's not getting it. Paradox <laughs> had to set sit through an entire set versus Swerve getting edge guarded. Let's hope oh. he has the adaptation. Just like that, he's not getting edge guarded. I swear, if he somehow reversed that, I would have lost my mind. But like Gopal is just Gopal's gotten so much better at this. And I gotta say, like if if that set against Zoo didn't happen, where Zoo finally handed Gopal his first tournament loss in that crazy set. He forced Gopo to get better. Absolutely. Like, I, I, I'm praying for the day where I get to see Zoo versus Gopo again because it was so good. But, like, that has also been the torment of Paradox because be Gopo learned so much from that that he has burned Paradox into the ground Absolutely. for what Zoo, <laughs> for what Zoo was doing to him oh as he gets God. the dare and closes up the that first That was such dog. a good bait. He was, he was sitting at a ledge kind of, you know, fainting the, the down attack and he just immediate ran off stage dare. It's like so hard to react to that. That's not even something you can really react to. You just have to know that he's going to go for that. Yeah. Yeah, it's I, honestly it's uh it's it's a it's a pre prediction and hope it's a, it's not even just like it's oh, oh you're, my you god might die. this could be the oh. sock no double up special coming from Finn but right now he's low and this could be a big turnaround for Paradox right now he needs to be able to get this opening but right now Smoke Gopo up. not having it sitting at 108 building up the percent on Paradox's second stock here this is gonna be such a big stock the down air to the up special not gonna take the stock we got him seeing shades of the first set but he's Gotta get the edge guard. Okay, finally yes. he closes it out. But we got Gopradamus over there. He was predicting and challenging and avoiding everything. Literally a god amongst men the way he was avoiding all that. But Gopo he's still playing out of the corner, <laughs> which trying so hard, but Paradox not letting it happen. He knows that he can't let situations like these edge guards like, slip away from him. Can that just be us? Like, like, can, I, I want to recover. Okay? <laughs> like, I want to be out there making money I instead of these fundies. <laughs> Give me these fundies. But will they have the same passion on the mic? That's the key. We, Absolutely. We talk about it real good. Absolutely. <laughs> they don't. They don't got the storyline oh, drive like us. But right now, seeing that, I think that was up there, down there. Nair, Nair. Nair, Nair. Yeah, oh my god. Bottom off the ledge. If you poke your head above that. 
that ledge, you get caught with Nair Dare, you're a high likelihood to meet your maker in the bottom of the blast zone. Gopo so good at landing these confirms. That's like that, that's been such a big deal breaker for this entire set, this one and the winner's final set. It's being able to have these confirms and he's landing them consistently and not be, not dropping any of them, and they're still leading to kills. It's honestly so impressive to watch the way that he consistently does this because it's one thing to have like a good character. It's another thing to have the mentality of being able to stay calm enough to always go for plays like that. Because as strong as a character can be, you can be bad and just not be able to execute. Yes. Like, that's just a fact. But, like, not oh with these two. What a great reversal there, right there for Paradox. That reversal was so important for Paradox, too. And he says 61, not too bad of a percent to be at. He really needed that reversal. And I think this is going to show, like, from the winner's final set and the swerve set about how he was getting edge guarded for f pretty much free. Yep. The yep. adaptation here is so important. One thing I do think back to, though, is the fact that in that winner's side, there were multiple times where they were on last stock, last hit. And Paradox was in the lead sometimes, but he couldn't close it. He has to have the composure to close it, not get anti about these up attacks, because there was quite a few times where he jumped right up above it yep. without a backup, and he got hit. It's so important for him to be able to have the confidence to land when he needs to land, and also know at the same time what to not overextend with, which has been kind of a deal breaker. Oh my god! Oh, that grapple, grapple hook just, just missed. missed. That would have been a bat bomb, and that would have been the game. <sighs> A, a, that was actually such a scary grapple right there. That could have been the end for Gopo. And the first game Paradox to take off Gopo today, but right now, even percent last stock apiece. Right now, they're both playing such a patient neutral, kind of sharking each other, both running, oh, that running should and be it. around each other. Oh, and he blows up, and that's going to be the first game Paradox takes off of Gopo today. That was so good. That was what we call a checkmate, where the way he had him deep off stage like that, he had Bat Bomb covered, he forced him to dodge and that's jump weird. away already. So your options are go towards the stage without a dodge, Take the dive kick. Go towards the stage without a dodge, but jump in. Take there, because Bat Bomb is going to force it. Or you go to the left and hope you could jump toss. But because he held towards the left, he went too far into the blast zone and just died for it. He had Paradox had every single form of option coverage covered. He had the option select out on the table, and it was a it was a bait. Got to got to point this out because I had to take a look back, and I felt like this might have been true or not. That's the first game today that Gopo has dropped. Oh my not, god! Don't, don't count two v twos, by the way. That's different, but. In singles, Gopo has not dropped one game. I got to tell y'all who he played. He played against many a threats for Finn. He played against uh, Bone Shackles with Batman to start the off the day. He played against Daquan with uh, with uh, Rick. Then Pin, who almost had a game, game one. Then Swerve. And then Paradox. And now Paradox finally puts one on the board. Finally puts one on the board for everyone who fought Gopo today. Being able to take a game, that could be a big changer for this entire set, honestly. That just shows that Paradox, after getting, you know, swiftly 3 0 in the winner's set, being able to now take a game, hey, that all, could sh shades all of it takes is one. Here. All it takes is one. Oh, this, oh. that's going to be the stock right there. He was out of resources. All it takes is one of those, too. All it takes is one of those for Gopal to just put that last game in his back pocket. Yeah. I, I have also seen, there was, again, re referencing the Apex set, there were multiple times where, back, where Gopal was near like game from losing and he would just bring it back Absolutely. like his innate ability to just clutch plays is absurd so paradox can only get so comfortable right now go post clutch factor and comeback factor is so insane and it's like one of the most impressive ones that i've seen from any multiverses player for like any of these offline tournaments it's so scary he's able to just utilize finn's kit to who, to a T, it's like, uh, it's it's scary because you know that you could be up and you're still not winning. Yeah, honestly, that's the scariest part about it. You can be, you 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 feel like you're in a lead, but the, especially the innate pressure of how good these both of these players are with a lead. It still doesn't matter because they're Does just so matter. confident at bringing it back. And Paradox is also incredibly good at holding lead, period, and he's being checked for that for a game. Absolutely. Right now, this this game too, this this uh, rebuttal from Gopo is so. Dominant right now, up a full stock, about to lap in percent. The up special just barely missing right there. He wanted that Sarah one the uppercut so bad on wanted him for it. doing that. He would have taken him out off the top. That would have given him his first knockout on this stock. But he's already taken 101 in the midst of it. This trophy's edge uh, counter pick definitely looking like it's helping a little because of those platforms for mix-up recoveries. But I think the upwards KO is going to help. It helped Paradox that time, though, as he finally finds one. Absolutely. Taking the first stock off of Gopo for this game, too, at 101% right now. I think we're going to have to see Paradox, you know, Take it back a little bit. I think I think patience is going to be his best friend here because he doesn't want to overextend at such a high percent. 
and then just kind of suffer for it. You know what I mean? Because that's it's been kind of you know the the curse for Paradox in this set where he overcommits. You know, trying to trying to use it as confidence, but then it just doesn't work out in his favor. And Gopo just reverses him, and the up special gonna take it off the top there, even with as much DI as he possibly could. It's almost crazy when you talk about the overextensions too, because at one point it's like yes. He is going for a lot, but also on the second point, it's like, if he doesn't go for it, what else does he have? He doesn't he has, have much. He has, like, fit, like, Gopo's defense has been so good that it's like, you have to go for it. It's such oh, a painful like double-edged sword. Pissed. You have to utilize it widely as, like, such a double-edged sword like that because you have to commit, but you can't commit too much or else you're going to get screwed. And right now, we're seeing Gopo just absolutely smothering Paradox right now. He's just... Keeping him pressed, and no matter in a situation like this where the neutral looks even, Gopo actually just still holding it, holding it down for neutral. Yeah, honestly, it's been really, kind of ridiculous. Also, shout out to the people who know the 6 a.m. reference in chat, by the way. Shout yes. out to my goat 6 a.m. Special shout outs to 6 a.m. My goat, love him. Love Actual him so much. god. But so uh, <laughs> right now, uh, is that true? What? Is that true? What? Is what you mean? Say yes. Yes. Great! Right. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Absolutely. What, yes, I believe you. Right. right now, we're seeing in this game, too, Gopo absolutely smothering Paradox. And right now, Paradox is just trying to find an opener of any kind, but this is the difference. With, like, with, with, like, we talk about how usually the strong defensive players and zoners are really good at playing with a lead. These are two hyper-aggressive players that play so well with a lead but also re refuse to get hit. Like, we, yes. we're below the four minute mark, but I feel like they have been fighting this entire time. And we're still not out yet, but it is just the, the small, the small bits of spacing that Gopal's been able to do around Paradox's dares like oh that my God, to get the reverse so it gets the, the game. attack is just so scary. It's just gonna be able to take him off the, off the stage and that's a two stock. For, for Gopo. And now Gopo putting himself back on the board, answering right back saying Paradox. No, 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 no. Don't don't Chill. get ahead of yourself. Calm down, don't bro. Don't get ahead of yourself. Calm don't down. make me don't make me three stock you again. You know, just reach over and like pat him on the head, like, no no, it's okay. <laughs> they're, gigg <laughs> they're giggling at each other too. Uh, it's, that, that was a good game one you had. It, it's it's one of those times where it's like, I wish I had a player mic, but at the same time, I know I shouldn't because people will be saying something. You know, really you know someone's gonna say, say something out of, out of pocket. pocket over there, so I'm trying to, I'm not trying to have that. But also, you know someone's gonna say something. I would out love of to pocket. hear the banter between these two because I can only imagine how much fun they're having. Yeah, right I can only imagine that. You know, two two close friends like this are just having a blast together in grand finals of such it's a big It's tournament. like friends, but they really are actually really good friends. Yeah. <laughs> we well, got really game really number two, uh, three. Excuse game. me, three. Game um, three here. Actually, is it game? Wait. No, this is game three. Okay, it's game four. No. This is game three. I promise. I promise. Yeah, because yeah, because Paradox won the first game. No, that was game one. No, I promise. Chat, chat confirmed it for me. I, I swear it's. Game I three. I know for a fact, like with 100% certainty. Okay. Game three. I'm like freaking out, but I swear it's game three. Okay, so we're gonna run off of it at the moment as if it's game three. I'm fairly sure it is. Yeah. We'll, I say we'll fairly sure. <laughs> fairly surely. I'm I'm done. It's all right. <laughs> it was it was schmossum. It was schmossum. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's devolving time, but <laughs> oh, jeez, it's getting we, late. We already had that on last grand finals, but right now, uh, these two are going at it, and uh, this it is, is this is such a scary like start right now. They're both just absolutely back and forthing each other right now. Yeah, uh, it's, it's oh my god, I, it's just so much fun watching how quickly they play neutral because it's so hard to second guess sometimes when you want to approach safely against either one of these two really strong anti-air based characters, but rushing in on it is just so ridiculous. And now he's in a bad spot. You have to always watch out for Gopo for that. Yeah. He will almost always go for gem toss down because if it hits you, you're probably getting spiked by it. Yeah, it was, I actually really like, I, I want to appreciate that like spacing of what he was doing in that position because he put him off stage with the down attack and then just kind of dash dance in place like as if he's going to respect him and then immediate gem, gem, to, uh, gem pull down toss, like absolutely, like immediately. Yeah. Ooh. That special not taking it off the that off the really side. Good that was KBI up towards the corner there. I can't yeah, believe that, that he actually survived that. That was really good. That was actually like insanely impressive. It, like good, good mental awareness in another position because Finn is not heavy. Yeah, <laughs> so absolutely. You have to be very careful about that. That is a oh, stock that, though that up, as that the up special, special comes through. Yeah, uh, that up special gonna be taking the stock absolutely right there. Finn, uh, Gopo at 1.4 right now. This uh, paradox has to take the stock. He can't afford to take too much extra credit because we know from watching Gopo and watching Finn today that 
any extra credit that Finn gets can just be 40%. Yeah, and right he, now, he just builds. 45. He just builds on it. Good. Uh, you, know, you have to back off there if you know that Batarang is on cooldown because it's not worth the check. But the reversal uppercut does come through such an important at a pretty reversal. high position. It was not super high in damage either, so that was huge. Yeah, such an important reversal there. He really needed to get that. He, that was just his get off me. Oh, and the down attack. That could be the stock right I here. I swear if Gopo got a spike out of that somehow. It's like how you know so well to take the hit on Batarang and then get the perfect spike. You're actually ridiculous. But that's 81 applied to Paradox already. What do you think Paradox did so well in game one that he needs to try and find and replicate somehow here in game three? I think we're going to have to see, uh, you know, a lot more of his offstage presence being, you know, hyper aware like he was versus Swerve. We have to see so much of, like, his execution just needs to be a little bit more on par. Because a lot of times he gets a lot of these openings where he's getting these straight down airs or these down specials. And they're not, like, confirming it's a kill. It's just off the percent. Just like that. And, you know, it's like I was saying about the, the double-edged sword. He has, these, has to commit in neutral, but he can't overcommit too much. You can see just how good the timing is on, or excuse me, how good the matchup knowledge is on Gopo as well, because he has switched to grapple hook perk, and he's been, other than that one, he took the hit, but he's been normally just neutral, uh, neutral like dodging right on time to punish that and get a reversal himself. He's been really on time with that. Oh my oh, god, is that a huge dead. reversal from Gopo? Insane reversals to kill him under 50. Remember, that was such a big point of the, the game for Paradox, and Gopo just not letting him have it. Remember earlier when I was off the side of the stream, and people were like, who checks Batman in that spot? That's crazy. And I said, well, Finn can. Finn can. See, I don't speak lies. If you do not have a true combo in those positions, and that Nair is off cooldown, and, oh, excuse me, yes, off cooldown. When it, when he's got that kick ready, you might die. Yeah, so absolutely. you gotta be very careful you about when you try to challenge him in that. And Gopo's gonna put the fear of God in you just by doing that, and now that card's on the table, and now Paradox for the rest of the set has to be aware that he's gonna go for something like that, and now it's just that's just gonna be an insane like game shakeup for a position like that. Yeah, and that's now Paradox sitting on what was one win, now down two. He's got only one potential loss left here in the pre-reset of Grand Finals if he could get a W at that to get the reset. Or Gopal takes it all home right now. Another big multi-versus land event here at this building. Last one was May Mayhem 17, the post Apex bracket where we had the rematch of him against Zoo. And now these $250 pop bonus singles trying to finish it all right now, Exile. Yeah, that's what I'm saying right now. I don't know if you noticed it. He Paradox just had those confirms of the fair into the up special over and over. And at 95, it wasn't killing off the top. But that up special is going to be killing off the top. And that's exactly what Paradox needs to get back into the set is to have a nice stock lead. And I think at this point, I think he should just kind of back off. I don't think he should be overcommitting in neutral too much. It's just about having the lead and being able to execute there. Oh, he tried to mix it up. He, ah. He's been holding off on that since the first stock of the previous set where he went out there and got the Sare 1 mix up to get the early knockout. He tried to get him again here in what could have been the last one to try and sneak one out early and answer right back. Paradox not falling for any of those edge guards though. He already had to go through in the first set with Gopo and with Swerve of getting edge guarded so early. He's not, he's he's so hyper aware off stage now. He, he, he knows he just can't afford to be edge guarded like this. Yeah, and getting as many hits as possible in try and keep him in hit stun so when he comes out of bat bomb he'd still have something but mistimed it on that dodge did give a free down air to paradox who is now taking full advantage of that paradox right now is running away with this lead super well and it's and it's it's interesting because he's like he is still playing aggressive but it's kind of like the, i'm not touching you yeah you know what i mean he's in, <laughs> he's in his face kind of just throwing out his mobility in front of him making it look like he's gonna actually whip an option and fast options like kind of uh, like batman down air uh, and, and stuff like that. It's just gonna make it so that it's hard to confirm. Oh my but God. Gopo not falling for it, and he's able to just go in there and confidently take him off the top. It's actually crazy the way that he just like positioned himself for these things. But that uppercut won't actually be enough here on Sky Arena. I think so the down air would have killed there if he didn't go for the up I think I think so. Wait, I'm still surprised the up B didn't kill. Like, yeah, I know. But oh, and the up special gonna be taken off the top that time for sure. But just a little extra reassurance there. And right now, Paradox is looking so good in this game four. Do we see a game five potentially on the board here between these two Paradox trying to get himself a continued bracket run? But meanwhile, Gopo sitting on the other side of the screen, just doing his best to try and avoid that exact fate. But he is currently down a whole stock, which is a rare occasion so far in this matchup. Paradox absolutely running away with this lead. He's looking so dominant. I think it's going to be going to a game five, Ajax. It looks like it might as Paradox is chasing him. Just to go after him with the Sarah one into the uppercut, but has to back off. Gopo has 
shown me in many occasions that he can get really early knockouts, so I'm not one to count him out just yet, but he did go off there immediately trying that Nair Dare. He's lucky he didn't get punished for that. Absolutely. This is such a scary spot for Gopo right now. He's at 110 on his last oh, stock of this game, and right now Paradox has been all over him, pressuring him in neutral, making him, making Gopo kind of panic in a lot of these neutral situations, but this is a special knock going to take oh, off the not top. enough coins in the bank to be able to close that out, but that is going to be enough to get that one right there as Paradox puts the second individual loss that Gopo has taken here today on the board, pushing us to what is a game five situation here Paradox in the grand finals. Back. He said, I'm not done. I'm not done with you, Gopo. We still have more to play. This is actually, this is insane. This, hi, Key. Oh, you, huh? What? Oh, of course, money matches absolutely happen after bracket. No, that's facts. We get DGen after this. Oh, so, we're getting DGen. All right, we got grand finals. Continuing here, of the first this is the pre-reset. So we still got, again, uh, this, <laughs> I, got, I got excited for the potential of the money match after. <laughs> so, <laughs> You're thinking of all the money that's on the screen right now. <laughs> Key, Key said, yo, he had the, he had the oh, hands rubbing like, yo, ooh, I'm just match. saying, I got money. I got, I, we, got, we got days to play. <laughs> but it is game five time in what has been an incredible set so far between these two. Again, Paradox doesn't, like, he hasn't dropped a Vortex that he's attended so far. But so has Gopo. This and also Gopo repeat. has insane win ratios of tournaments, period. Absolutely. And he is not trying to let one of the biggest ones he's attended go away from him. Absolutely. Right now, both these players are just looking to be able to secure this. Right now, Paradox with a percent lead right now, putting him up in disadvantage and has him at ledge. Oh, the, the, the down attack, that could be so scary for Paradox. And another one sets him off stage, and he's out of resources. Exactly. He burned a lot before that. And the key factor, he never got to touch the ground again. He that hit was him so, right on time with the down attack. That was attack. such good game awareness from Gopo. He was able to keep him in disadvantage. Paradox snapping right back, 29% right now. He's saying, I'm not letting you get away with that. We're taking this back to even. It's the, 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 the answering back as quick as he did is actually so crucial. Because he only took 46, which normally, after something like that, will climb. This is so crucial for Paradox to keep that good mentality because there is a very good potential of game five, but look at the way Par uh, Gopal's answering these grapples now. He's side specialing at him. Yeah, he's, he's not just neutral dodging anymore, and that's checking Paradox. Yeah, adaptation from both these players in the set is so important to like, the, the micro, the micro notice is, it's so important to notice, and that's something, like I said before, Bro, with the that, other game, Gopal's gonna go for it. That's it's on billionaire table. butt cheeks right there. He hit him with the whole back end of the dare as he got caught up in the other side. I am, look, I am not, I, I, I definitely, definitely am a little bit lax on my, my Batman terms. I will say that dare hit him pretty far away. Yeah, this <laughs> was uh, pretty, pretty generous, pretty generous uh, hitbox there. But right now, uh, hey, look, players. hey, look. You can't be Batman without having strong glutes. That's all I'm saying. Absolutely. But, <laughs> glutes of steel. Here we go. Right Continuing now, this game five. Dare off the platform. Not going to be enough to get him off the top. I know he tried He tried to catch him with the dare off the platform and the up special. Not going to make it. Just kind of missing it. The dare, the dare off stage of the downs. He down. baited him again. He, he made him constantly try to attack. And as soon as he realized, oh, wait, I've been off and I'm now too close to the top, then he backed off and did down attack. Paradox got baited directly into Gopo's hands as he now has a lead. Gopo's mix ups this entire set have been so good the entire time. He, he just, his back pocket's never empty. He's able to always pull something out to surprise Paradox, and it's gonna, it's kind of, oh, and he's, oh, he's looking to be out of resources he here. He just he the got gem. around that gem. That, that gem was, was so important. That was frames off of being Gopo's ending winner right there, but he's starting to make Paradox second guess his approaches. That gem, that gem could have been the deciding factor for this entire set. That could have been the win. And right now, Gopo might be kicking himself. Not dying to the up special off the top, just hit 130 right now. The second one coming back into play. 29% for Paradox, last stock a piece. This is Waited so cool. Waited so long to try and mix up his recovery with that jump down, but Paradox said no as he got all the way up there. Now 0 to 39. Do we see a reset? Do we see Gopo end it all right now? He might go chase after him over in the skies. He's going to go oh, after him, but tries, he just missed. He tries to go for it. He tries to hit him with it, and it's not falling for it. Paradox is ready. He knows that at these positions, Gopo is going to try to do something sneaky, and it's not going to work. He tried to delay down attack one to get the confirm off of something, but he could went into the second one. You could get a, if you get a ground bounce, you can get an uppercut there, but it's at too low a percent, so it's not really too worth it right now. But 23 to 67, exiled as stressful as this is it could go either way and that's why you're seeing the bolts slow down a ton absolutely we i i have no idea like what's gonna happen for the rest of this game this is so big right now whoever wins this next neutral Ooh. interaction big is gonna be so, he so important rank. that's huge because that now makes the approach for uh, paradox way less safe that's why he backed off that's oh why my he god is that he might it? be able to get off the top oh not my just god. yet 
such good DI. Batarang still on cooldown. He can't use it as a stall factor. It's now coming back now, but can Fat Bomb is available to Paradox if he. Oh, never mind. Actually, it's on cooldown. He just used it again. This is so scary. Paradox has to be so careful right now because you can see that Gopo's starting to get a little fishy. Yeah, He's starting to go for a lot of these side special into uppies. And Gopo doesn't really have a heavy bag available to him either. He doesn't break that battering in the midst of that exchange. So Paradox might go back and get it. He does. So the double up special missing. Getting only one hit and not connecting double. Oh, he checks the down air that was so close to finding it. Down attack comes through and he gets the up attack strong. on the down attack in exiled. We have it. We have the finisher. You're champion of Armageddon Battle for the Multiverse. Number one is that of the one and only consistent champion, Gopo. Gopo. Gopo absolutely came in today. He was looking so strong in all of his matches. He played Paradox in Winner's Finals, absolutely stomped him. Played Swerve, stomped him. Paradox came back. Paradox had such a good fighting spirit. But, you know, Go Gopo said, no, not today, man. Stopping the reset. I think if that reset happened, there's a very good likelihood that Paradox gets the W. Yeah, I think it would have been a really draining for Gopo. He was finally starting to wake it up. It was finally starting to happen, but, man... I know, but I gotta do interviews and stuff first. Stop but first. still, uh, just preemptive. Uh, it's Streamline versus Key for a money match. That's we gonna we be have found one. out who it is, so therefore I will stay on the mic for that one. Usually I let other people go crazy first. I'm staying here That's for that one. That's a good one. one. Uh, but um, again, what an incredible tournament all the way sort of up to this point. You Absolutely know, we had amazing. Swerve and Wave who were able to take it out in twos earlier in a phenomenal 2v2 tournament that we had. And then here in ones, Gopo just showing that he's just a king of consistency right now, refusing to relent and refusing to give up that position at the top. Even the people who are consistently at the top, like Paradox, Swerve, uh, taking out, uh, you know, just look at, like, who got ninth today. Like, not even just top eight. We're seeing Chavo get ninth. Minty Hippo got ninth. Chavo got ninth. Uh, who else got ninth? I can't even remember. Everybody got ninth. Let's pull it up, actually. Wavy. Wavy with an A it. got ninth. Yeah, Wavy with an A got ninth. I'm going to give you all, actually, the whole rundown. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, because I don't have a graphic, so i got to tell you <laughs> individually. Uh, <laughs> Gopo gets first place. First place. Uh, first <laughs> place. Uh, <laughs> Paradox second. Sawyer with third. Unfortunately, Wavy did have to DQ, so that is something we got. We do have to point out, but he got fourth. Uh, granted, Sawyer v. Wavy, that would have just been fun in general. Then, great set. Then, looking at fifth place, Streamline and Key. You look at uh, seventh. seventh, Bugs v. and Sage. And then down in ninth, you got Minty, Wavy, Pin, Chavo, and then in 13th place, all the top 16, you got Sice, Daquan, Twilight, Zay Buckets. Zay like, Buckets coming also from New York. Yeah, he big looks facts. so dominant I'm down so there, too. Happy. That's actually Superman. Like He's the GOAT. Like, did you see him earlier when he was playing? He looked over and was like, Use the go. I'm Himothy, bro. He's I'm him. him. I'm like, <laughs> it's crazy. He's but that dude. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and switch it up real quick. Gopo's going to go run into the bathroom to tinkle real fast, but I'm going to get him on here to uh, get an interview, and we're going to talk about that. So uh, we'll switch seats real quick. Absolutely. If you want to come rejoin me for the money match after, you're more than uh, welcome. I Unless... probably won't. Thank you so much, Ajax, okay. for having me. Uh, great event. Check Everyone... out Exile. You did, did phenomenal today. Thank you so much at EXCIIED on were Twitter. Were you coming back here for the money match commentary, or were you just coming back uh, here? Everyone in chat, make sure you thank Ajax and Chavo and you know retro and all of the people from uh, Vortex Reborn for running this event. Oh, gotcha. Absolutely amazing. Uh, this is the first one. Oh, Hopefully they're gonna be running more in the future. They probably will. Uh, amazing event. This is by uh, far and away not the only one of these. Let me make that clear. Special shout outs to Ajax for being able to put don't on such a godlike event. <laughs> I kicked it earlier. Don't hit the Elgato. El I did hold one L today. I did hit. I did kick the Elgato during a clapo and. I, I knocked out the stream off. feed. <laughs> you popped off too hard. So I did have one L. I had to hold one L today. But yeah. but, uh, That'll right. be me. Thank you, everyone, for having me. Thank you, Ajax, for having me. Yes, and remember, don't move because we got Gopo's interview coming up after Go, he, get, after Gopo's he gets interview, out of the And after that, Streamline versus Key for a money match. Yeah, and who knows what other ones might happen after that, too. Absolutely. <laughs> Stay tuned, everyone. Do, 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 do. Where'd you get by there? Actually, I had to switch these. Huh? <laughs> you want to do a loose review? <laughs> I mean, you can meme momentarily, but hold on one second. <laughs> hold on one second. Good night, Eric. Thanks oh for all the help. I appreciate God. that. <laughs> all right, hold on one second. Hold on one second. I got to switch names. So, um, so Ajax, the number one Batman. How you doing, man? <laughs> it's like, that is such cap. <laughs> but... Uh, do, 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 do. So, uh, while uh, Gopo is using the bathroom, we have Paradox sitting here in his place. Uh, oh, he's right there. There he is. <laughs> Loki, just don't just don't hit the entire table, bro. Loki, just 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 give your just mic win to the Gopo. tournament, then try to flip the table. Just, like just that's give, crazy. Wait, actually, just give your mic to Gopo, and we have. I'm uh, not letting you two do this interview. I gotta make sure that TOS oh stays God. clean on this. <laughs> uh, but it, yes, Ajax interviewing Ajax. No, uh, dude. All right, get up. You lost. 
Yeah, I lost. <laughs> Finn, Finn is unbeatable. He's unbeatable. How do you approach him? How do you approach him? Get out of here! <laughs> Hello. Hello, welcome. I see you have a whole entourage. I do, I do. It's Bugsy, yeah, but who's that? Bugsy. Who's that? Lee, I don't even have to head look. In here. That's the wrong side. We gotta teach you. That's my New York man. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, well, we've had this position a couple times now where Two you have now. shown up, and not only did you get runbacks on incredibly ridiculous tournament last time, you had an <laughs> insane rematch against uh, Zoo and then was able to close it out, yes. but then you return. And not only do you go up against another Batman at that, another incredibly strong Batman, but you also continue to just show your dominance at the top in the ones field. And you take home the very first Armageddon Battle for the Multiverse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just want to say, Paradox, I only lost to Paradox today. I didn't lose I any did other point games. that out. I realized that you didn't mm -hmm. drop a single game against anybody. The closest one that I saw was, was Pin. Pin. Yes. And then Pin, like, didn't... Pin was playing Pin crazy. crumbled. I don't know what happened, like, but yeah. you're just... Insane. Thank you. Look, thank you. You are Himothy. I should switch that to Himothy. But um, uh, glad to see, glad to see you come through. Thanks. Um, obviously today a little bit different. You know, we've had a lot of great times where people have been able to come out. We had um, you know, obviously the last time the the post Apex run where we had NYCT yes. and everybody coming in. But today was the first like this was an us thing. This was our event and this was like today a was big super event at that. What did you stacked. think of it? It was awesome. This is my best LAN experience to date, for sure. All the setups here are great. All the people are great. It's a store, so there's snacks, bro, like water. I have no complaints. Like, I have a good time every time I come here. It sure. It's just good vibes. We're yeah. just we're here, have games, good vibes, regardless of whether it's throwing the bracket or not. Everybody's just chilling. And I love it because, like, I keep saying it. It's a missing factor. People don't realize it until you actually get to be at one. The offline scene, being in person, whether it be – FTC, other platformers, Smash, Brawlhalla, whatever you have, you, it's just different. It's so different. I got to tell you guys, like, a lot of people have been trying Parsec lately. It's definitely, um, you know, the best online, or best practice you can get for tournament. But what I will say is um, there's nothing that is going to prepare you for actually being in person with, like, all these people, like, all the passion in the room. Mm -hmm. A lot of people get nervous. A lot of people have play worse later, man. Um, like, Competing itself, I saw this uh, Twitter thread, but I'm sure a lot of people on Multiverse's Twitter saw it, but competing itself is a skill. Like, there's yep. being good at the game and there's being good at playing in tournament. So, um, just show up to your lands. Like, that's how you get better. Yeah, sure. and just, like, the experience of what you... Oh, I gotta put this out again. Would you stop, like, like, like just <laughs> touching Thor over there, Tikoa? Like, you've been doing that all day. Yeah, that's now in a YouTube video. Just so you know, you just be like, hey, Thor, how you doing, bro? Tacoa like, been, been up to something. Tacoa been acting yeah. some kind of strange today. Yeah. but <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. But, uh, but still, um, honestly, like, one of the things that I hope things like, like this event did, I got DM'd earlier from a, a, a land in Texas that they just started, and I was going to host them after this, but unfortunately they ended before we did. <laughs> and, you know, there's a, a return uh, up in Massachusetts. Uh, make sure if anybody's in the area or who has the opportunity, go. Uh, there's a place called Balance Patch in Boston that has a phenomenal venue that they're starting things back up at um, the Mystery Machine uh, monthly. That's another one. Obviously, you got New I York. Um, I know with everything that happened with Zeddy, I'm working to help get something going again there on like a okay. monthly style basis. So we're like that. PA had that event that you had against Sandstorm. I can't remember exactly which one that was called. Metro versus. Metro versus. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you. And then also shout outs to I mean Bugsby's off the side. We were joking a little second ago with the massage, but like Bugsby's got a whole Discord like helping to prep lands. Yeah, if. One hundred percent. Like I mean. Vegas got one going. Texas got one going. I know that California started them. If you ever have questions, if you need help, ask. Like, reach out. We've got resources. We will give you rule sets. We'll do what you got to because mm -hmm. it's only going to grow. Yep, like, absolutely. and the experience you get, the people you get to meet in person, it's just so different. Well, yeah. No, absolutely. Meeting this scene, dude. Like, that's actually why I came today. It's because of the people. It's not because I wanted to compete. I'm going to be real. I have just more passion for, like, being around everybody and just, like, everyone in a room sharing the same interests than I did, like, competing today. But obviously, it was worth it. I won, you know. Yeah, <laughs> well, for me. I I'm but glad because I know that I know that you actually were debating because like you haven't been yeah, playing as sure. much of late. That's but right. I am I glad that you came out because last time it was great. Uh, this time was great again. Um, you know, it, into the day in in general. I mean, like you said, you didn't drop any games. Yeah, uh, today what, I, played, I was playing crazy. Like, today. was there was there anybody along the way that you were like fearful of? Be 
just pin. Well, when I when I played the first stock against pin, I was like, Dude, this is not pin from last month. No, <laughs> this is no, crazy. that that month like pin that, was going insane. That was prime pin that we know. Yeah. Like when pin is not up here, that is pin at prime. Like, I haven't seen pin play like that since before I came here, and I was watching streams, and he was crazy. So, he has the second know. most multi versus mayhems for a reason. Actually, oh, no, uh, no, he's tied with Chavo. Excuse me. Oh It's, wow. it's Zoo Chavo, pin, and y'all are catching up. Well, like it's uh like that that looked really good. So the fact that you said that, I mean, even what I was watching, I was like, oh crap, yeah, well, he might off. actually get the upset here. Yeah, he was going off for sure. Um, as far as anybody else, I play Paradox on a daily basis. Almost, I know. <laughs> so it's I reminded. Rough. Oh yeah, I had to build that up. So I know we had to bring it here too. I reminded everybody I went Paradox won last week. You literally got onto a call. You said, "How are you gonna let this <laughs> four foot five dripless Batman?" <laughs> Win this weekly, and then you come in here. That's I can only I imagine how much fun y'all are having during grands there, because like it, all jokes aside, the strength that you two have building each other up, mm -hmm. the the level of what he's achieved and the level what you achieved, I can't wait to see more people get to that type of level with the pairings that we've been seeing. I mean, I'm just like I watch New York all the time. I've seen what Bugsby could do with twenty thousand characters. <laughs> I've seen what Bu what Zay Buck has been able to do with Superman of late. Dude, the character I, representation like, <laughs> today was amazing. For it was phenomenal. Eight, it was almost everyone playing different characters. Top sixteen, everything was all over the place. Like yeah. I'm trying to get a graphic for top, all of top sixteen because I want people to understand how great this was. It was awesome. And even in two v twos, there was I think uh, I think of all of two v yeah, Tom and Jerry got third. Yeah. Y'all can't mm -hmm. sleep no more, okay? Dude, we saw what we seen out of Piggy still? and what we saw out of Dex Shotta today. Y'all can't hide no more. Off I'm today, watching y'all. It was awesome. Tom and Jerry, you can't hide anymore. We got you. <laughs> we got footage. <laughs> yeah, that, that was really fun to watch, honestly. Yeah, but phenomenal time. Uh, I won't hold, hold you up forever because I know it is snowing, so I don't know how long oh people are going God, to, to stay. It is actually partly, unfortunately, why we had to lose Wavy along the way there because his mom couldn't wait with the snow anymore. But um, still, congratulations again. Thank you. I wish I had a trophy to give you, but that only gave me reason to want to get trophies for the future ones. To be honest, it's all right. So when you do get a trophy, I'll just get two. Because oh, you I get back pay twice. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. That's not how that works. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, still, uh, maybe who knows? But either way, that concludes the Armageddon portion of bracket. Uh, again, shout outs to GoPo for getting the W today. Shout outs to everyone who came out. I'm so happy that everybody came through today. We are not done though, because like I said, after bracket, we get degenerate. We have a money match up next. We got Key Wonder versus Streamline. And I have to, I have to do it because it's, it, it's, it's key one to streamline. You can if you want. Dude, streamline. Options highlight. open. I'll leave the stream running as long as people want to do them. And I let people cycle up on here too. No swearing too much though. <laughs> but Dude, I want to uh, see streamlines highlight on every platform. I want to see it on oh TikTok. Oh yeah, no. 